To get regular updates, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Hello friends, this is Nepali Shah from Examin. Welcome back to the second part for the climate change. In this lesson, we would be seeing about the schemes and steps taken by the Indian government to reduce the global warming. If you have not watched the previous lesson, do watch that first and then continue with this lesson. The link is given in the description. So, let's get started. Energy challenges are intensifying not only due to the climate change but because of the growing demands in fast emerging economies like India. As India enjoys the strong growth, it is no surprise that the consumer demand great reliability from their energy suppliers and that the climate change agenda is seen as an opportunity for industry and jobs. But it also means that the energy companies and policy makers are under more pressure and demands for more government intervention in energy sector. Energy Sector Interventions The objective of the energy sector intervention is to mitigate the greenhouse gases emission by improving the energy efficiency and adopting the cleaner sources of energy. Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana PMUY 10 crore households of the 24 crore household still use biomass such as firewood and curved dung for cooking which causes hazardous pollution damaging the health of the household members and of the environment. The Government of India plans to provide free LPG connection to the 5 crore BPL household to reduce the dependence on the polluting cooking fuel. Energy Conservation Building Code ECBC 2017 Developed by the Power Ministry and BEE, ECBC speaks to promote low carbon growth by integrating the renewable energy sources in the design of the buildings. For a building to be ECBC compliant, it has to show at least 25% savings in the energy consumption. It is estimated that the adoption of ECBC throughout the country would reduce at least 50% of the energy use by 2030. Green Rating for the Integrated Habitat Assessment GRIHA. It evaluates the environmental performance of a building holistically over its entire life cycle, thereby providing a definitive standard for what constitutes to a green building. GRIHA, which is developed by the Energy and Resources Institution, also known as TERI, has been adopted by the government as the national rating system for the green building. Unnat Jyoti by Affordable Lighting for All, which is also known as Ujala, to promote the efficient lighting, enhance the awareness on using efficient equipment which reduce electricity bills or help to preserve the environment. The Energy Efficiency Services Limited is responsible for distributing the subsidized LED bulbs through state distribution companies of India to promote the use of energy efficiency bulbs. Renewable Energy Development all conventional resources use a scarce resource which is expected to be exhausted in the near future. Even hydropower falls in this category as water is a scarce resource and we have seen that the countries are already having a hard time securing their future water needs. Renewable sources on the other hand uses resources which are abundant from nature. Wind and solar resource won't exhaust even if it is exploited fully. The other renewable sources are biomass, compressed natural gas, geothermal power, etc. India has set the target of adding 175 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity by 2022 over and above 30 gigawatt installed now. Solar cities reduce a minimum of 10% of the projected energy demand of the city through renewable energy installations using wind, solar and municipal waste and energy efficiency measures. Ultra Mega Solar Parks These are a series of planned solar power projects, each with a capacity of more than 500 megawatts. Government plans to establish 25 such plants, adding 20 gigawatts of the solar power capacity. National Biofuel Policy It seeks to advise 20% of the ethanol blending and promote the use of non food feedstock for the production of the biofuels. Presently, there is only 5% of the ethanol blending. National Offshore Wind Energy Policy 2015 India has successfully developed the Onshore Wind Power Program with the installation of the 23 gigawatts power supply. The new policy seeks to develop wind farm deeper into the sea to reduce the dependence on the land for the wind energy. Renewable Purchase Obligation 
it makes it legally binding for the distribution companies of India to source some share of their power requirement from the renewable sources. Nuclear Power Program India currently sources almost 2% of its energy needs from the nuclear energy. The three-stage nuclear power program, when completed, will make India self-sufficient in the nuclear fuel since it holds 25% of the world's thorium reserves. Nuclear power is essential to replace coal as the source of base load power since other renewable sources have the limitation of being isolated. Government has recently cleared 10 nuclear power reactors with a net capacity of 1000 megawatts. Industrial Sector Schemes The main objective of the Industrial Sector Scheme is to reduce the emissions from the automobiles. National Electric Mobility Mission Plan NEMMP Achieving the national fuel security by promoting the hybrid and electric vehicles in the country and simultaneously reducing the emissions from the vehicle running on the hydrocarbons. It targets to achieve 6 to 7 million sales of hybrid and electric vehicles year on year from 2020 onwards. Faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicles, also known as FAME. It seeks to support hybrid and electric vehicles market development and manufacturing ecosystem. The scheme has four focus areas that is technology development, demand creation, pilot projects and charging infrastructure. Increasing the green cover. The objective of increasing the green cover is to create more carbon sinks. River interlinking program. It helps in addressing the problems due to the disasters such as drought and floods and increase the area under the irrigation channel. National Green Highway Mission Planting trees along the national highway by dividing the 1% of the project cost. This green belt would also act as the green muffler for the noise pollution, store carbon dioxide and provide livelihood opportunities to the communities nearby the highway. Kempa Act Compensatory Afforestation Management and Planning Authority, which is also known as CMPA, will recover the net present value NPV for afforestation cost and other project specific cost from the industrial projects that require the diversion of the forest land for the non-forest purposes. The Government of India has also adopted certain financial tools to reduce the global warming. They include Polluter Pay Principle According to the principle, a person or a company will pay for the damages done to the environment and community due to their activities. Carbon Tax The tax imposed on the users of the fossil fuels such as coal. Imposed in India in the form of cess on coal, clean environment cess at Rs 400 for a ton. Energy Saving Certificates under the Perform, Achieve and Trade PAT mechanism, major energy consuming industries are assigned energy efficiency targets. Any industry achieving the efficiency in excess of their target can trade the excess of Indian energy exchange to monetize it. Green Bonds It allows the industry to raise capital from the market to fund green projects such as for the renewable energy projects. It will help raise low cost debt to meet the massive requirement of the 200 billion for the renewable energy projects. National Adaptation Fund for Climate Change NAFCC To assist the states and the union territories particularly vulnerable to the adverse effects of the climate change in meeting the cost of adaptation. NABARD has been appointed as the national implementing entity for the funds. National Clean Energy Fund NCEF The fund that has been created using the carbon tax on coal for funding R&D projects in the clean energy technologies of the public or private sector. An assistance of up to 40% of the total project cost will be provided either in the form of loans or grants. With this, we have come to the end of this session. Thank you for watching till the end. In the next session, you would be seeing about the conventions related to the climate change and India's role in them. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. Thank you.